Alright, what is up everybody? I am out here tonight looking for treasure in the trash as usual. It's garbage night and so far tonight it's uh, been a bit of a bust. But what happened is I went to more of a retro neighborhood earlier because in, earlier this day I saw an appliance, spot an appliance down a road. So I went back tonight to go to get it and it was gone. Anyways, I went and started zigzagging whole bunch of these roads I've never been on and it was a super rich neighborhood um, so let me know what you guys think about this but you know I've I think there's a misconception out there where people believe that the more rich the neighborhood the better trash they put out or the more trash they put out at the curb um, I think that's I found that's not the case at all I find it's the opposite um, it's usually these uh, working class neighborhoods uh, that have a mix of blue collar and white collar workers that they tend to put out the uh, put out the best most trash because it's whoever is really whoever, who's ever spending money is going to be putting out more stuff you know because they have new stuff coming in and old stuff going out so that's my little theory on that so let me know what you think but yeah I was going through this rich neighborhood and you know three car garages everywhere it's, houses are spaced really far apart and there was nothing I did actually manage to find a microwave and a dishwasher which was okay I like those types of things but uh, yeah, everything else nothing so I'm at my usual stomping grounds over here tonight and uh, seeing what, what I can find maybe something we'll see Driving with my tailgate down. Uh -oh. I was just saying I'm driving with my tailgate down right now and my uh, lift gate down too. Just I'm just in town right now, so you know, not doing any major roads. So this way it's just a lot easier and faster for me to keep going. Yeah, but uh, yeah, so a few comments. On my videos are asking me about my truck if I'm liking it absolutely no regrets at all I'm loving this truck man loving it and it's, it's worry free you know you can have whatever you want as long as you have to pay for it that's all Mostly scrap, mostly scrap, but uh, scrap is good, very good, because prices are great. A lot of good things that I like in here. I gotta take it all out though, because I have to go back out for some more junk today. All right, guys, truck's emptied out. It's pretty cold out here today, so I put my coat on. So hopefully, it's going to start warming up soon. I'm getting tired of this cold. It's, it's mid-April now, so. Want to get this show on the road, get the spring coming, especially this. You know, look at this. These are the conditions I have to work in. Just mud everywhere, especially back there. Uh, around where I keep my TVs, just a huge mud hole. I'm tired of it. I have to, I have a big pile of gravel there still. I've got, it's been there for maybe a month or half a month or something. So I need to get a bobcat though. I need to get some sort of get hire someone with a bobcat to come in here and, and move that gravel everywhere anywho 
The trunk is emptied out. I'll show you what I picked up last night. The truck fits a lot of stuff. I'm surprised. This is like uh, this tin here I got from my drop off bin. That's actually aluminum, clean aluminum. It's good stuff. That is just an umbrella I picked up last night. All this stuff here I picked up. This. It was like a, someone dismantled a hot water tank. Found that on the side of the road just the morning before I went out. And this is all steel from last night. Um, this is like a barbecue thing. And I uh, had a, this piece of aluminum, just cracked it off with a sledgehammer, two wax. I think I could sell that at flea market if I had, it's like a, I guess a flower pot holder. If you had like a flower basket there, you could advertise it like that, but I don't know, we'll see. Air conditioner, you can always take those apart if you want for uh, copper and uh, aluminum copper rads. Oh boy, look at this mess. Man, oh man. So yeah, I found a dishwasher last night, Armada dishwasher. Actually, it looks pretty decent inside. You know, we've seen worse. <laughs> this pop rack has a lot of rust, you know, has a lot of rusted out uh, spots here and there. So that one I don't think is good, but this bottom one actually looks really, really nice. That's a good cutlery rack too. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty nice. Don't know what happened with it, but uh, maybe these things usually have an electronic panel, uh, electric panel in the back there, electronic board. That will sometimes go bad. That's a dishwasher I picked up last night. GE dishwasher, or not a dishwasher, a washing machine that you saw me use. I used the lift last night and it worked out very well. I was very happy with the, with the lift because uh, it's the first time I used it, you know, while I was pick garbage picking. And it was really fast and easy. So, and it didn't make too much noise too. Uh, yeah, that's like a pull-out bed thing. They use zip ties, which was nice. Uh, picked up one, two, three microwaves. There's a light fixture there. Old Panasonic microwave. It's not that heavy. It's just not. I want to show you the like the glass plate here. Big heavy glass plate. The square in the middle. Pretty neat. Um, this thing here, I guess that's just like a, I don't know what that thing is. A steamer? Some sort of steamer? I don't really want to play with it, try to fix it. I just going to scrap it. And then they got a little bit better stuff over here. Some booster cables that have been cut. Good copper inside. Uh, uh, an iron. I throw that in with dirty aluminum after I cut the cord off. There's a little vacuum cleaner. You can tinker around with that a little bit. Humidifier has the cord and everything. Yeah, I don't know. I never, never able to fix those things or part them out. So they're just scrap. Golf clubs. I always pick up the golf clubs with the bag because I have found money in bet these bags before, but not this time. I didn't find anything, but I did pick up. Uh, can't remember where I, my last golf bag that I picked up, but I found a whole bunch of golf balls inside of it um, that I collected. Uh, that I'm collecting, and then a whole bunch of these these things here. But uh, most of the time. I find that they're steel, you can see that they're rusting, but I have found a brass one before, and aluminum. These poles, ski poles came with it, Those, that's aluminum. But yeah, I'll usually, I'll just chuck, I'll throw the bag out in the garbage after I sort through the clubs. Uh, just some Christmas lights. This is like a little dog or cat or monkey or <laughs> whatever critter you want to hold in that thing. There's no door on it. It's just the whole thing just pops right open. So animal carrier. Back to cleaner. Those are always nice. And that's a Kenmore. And this is just a, a motor by itself. Someone took apart a pressure washer and those motors are always nice. Very, very good uh, copper inside those ones. 
and of course the whole thing is cast aluminum and then this guy here that's all that's a really heavy piece really heavy faucet that after i cut the copper off the whole thing will just be brass throw that in the brass bucket and just usual pots and pans and some pot lights with some wire on it and this thing here the scooter is dirty aluminum and this guy here is i'll probably just cut the cord off that and then throw that in with shred shred will seal and last thing i guess is this thing here it's a pretty heavy duty towing cable tow cable yeah it's heavy so again that will be a good flea market item good oh yeah last thing here was this wheelbarrow and it looks like it hasn't had very much use on it and uh you, know, you just gotta be careful sometimes you'll see people will they'll bring their garbage to the curb in a wheelbarrow and they'll leave the wheelbarrow at the curb with garbage bags on top of it don't take it when it looks like that but this one was face down on top of garbage bags and it has this broken wheel here so that's okay to take this clamp here is all bent up and out of shape but um he, i keep these things around for parts because these these uh these wooden arms are good to have you know if you have a wheelbarrow with broken with broken sticks you can replace it in the buckets too i've uh I found wheelbarrows, I've Frankenstein them together, make new wheelbarrows, and then you can sell it. People are always looking out for those things. Loving it. Loving this so much, you know, so much fun finding treasure. Was it worth it last night to go out garbage picking? Yeah, it was worth it for me. I had fun. I was out there for probably about two hours, so it was a lot of, a lot of work. But uh, yeah, it was fun. So I have lots of stuff to go through right now, but we're going back out. I have to go pick up some more appliances because, because I want more stuff. That's why. Oh, I stopped off at one place there for the appliances and I guess they didn't have them out yet. But, uh, so I have to contact my contact, ask her what happened. Anyways, came to the drop off bin. Some good stuff here today. Oh, it's mostly coax in there. Phones. Box. Not much else down there. Some remote, remote controls. Big Sony TV. And that is. A printer. thing is and we have a Kenwood receiver all right so this is the before shot of my driveway still have this big camper here but we cleaned it all out looks pretty big now that we've cleaned it out I got uh, someone to hire I hired someone a backhoe to come and bring this pile of Gravel and spread it out all over the driveway. So he's coming by in a, within the hour. So this is the bef before shot. And we'll see what it looks like after. Pile is no more. Excuse my noisy rooster. Yeah, so he spread it out real good. I like how it comes down here a little bit now too, the driveway, you know, so it can s just adds to it. And it didn't take him too long. Uh, he he quoted us 225, and he only ended us ended up uh, charging us 200. You know because it's a he, four hour minimum, which is understandable. Yeah, I like this. Oh, it's so much better now. Nice big, clean driveway, less mud. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm sure it's still going to get muddy over there and over there too it's this little pile here that i asked him to leave so that i can shovel it all inside here 
and because uh, this this area gets really really muddy so I got to take this carpet off the floor first so that means I gotta move all this stuff I kind of moved it all packed it in here while he you know so he could spread out the gravel I'll do that after and I went just got back from my shop and they gave me a bunch of stuff two furnaces and a nice big air conditioner there so I gotta deal with that too lots of fun today